Hi, everybody. Thank you for participating in another episode of Camping Buddies number 18. We 19. got a light. 19. 19? You just said it too. I, Shit. I had to, I had to <laughs> said 18. Oh, fuck. I said 19. I said 19. Oops. We're at episode 19. We're doing pretty good. We got a good a lineup of topics we like to talk about. Um, Let's see. It's like, yeah. Let's go. Let's start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take it away, boys. <laughs> Take it away. Um, so the first thing I wanted to get off my chest is that Alyssa is like actually insane. She has no idea what she's talking about. Uh, the reason why Reese's Puffs is a topic is because oh. she swears to God that there's another fucking song, but there's not. It's just Reese's um. Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Peter butter chocolate, great when separate, <laughs> but when they combine, they make the morning time epic. She thinks those are two different songs. I, R double E, I, yes, E, yes, yes. I P, swear D, 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 I remember F, a completely yes. different song, but every time that I try to look it up to prove that I'm right, I can't find it. But I swear up and down that there's a completely other version, like an earlier version, I swear it. I'll find it and I'll show. If it on you can't a find later it, on. I, I swear. If you can't find it, then it, it, you're just wrong. If you can still mm -hmm. find that Chef Boyer D commercial where like the can <laughs> is like stalking the little girl all the way home, then it you can't find the fucking this made up uh, Reese's Puff song. It's not. You, you never up. saw that commercial <laughs> before. The the Chef Boyer D one. No, no, no. I love that. I loved that commercial. That was like my oh. favorite commercial when I was a kid. I'm I just saying, like, chef. if you could find, yeah, I'm just saying it's like an old commercial. So, like, if you can find that one and you can't find this fucking fantasy, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tigger's going off. We saw uh, the black cat action back there. <laughs> wow. They're really sneaking to here. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Um, um, it could be one of those like Mandela effect things. I, that's what yeah. I think it is for her. Like she thinks it's she thinks it exists, but it like how she do you might think not it be goes? alone in this? You know, um, off the top of my head, I can't remember it because you've given me too much pressure on it. Um, <laughs> it has to happen organically. Um, Reese's Pubs, Reese's Pubs, eat them up, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's that's what I was just saying. Yeah, and then yeah. peanut butter chocolate, great one separate. Same song. Right. Same. Yeah. And same then... song. Oh, what was what was Moles? Do you even remember the difference? There's no difference. It's the same song. No. <laughs> so I you swear. think it's the same song up to a point? Maybe mine was like the first version, and then they added. To I feel it, okay. So I feel covers. like you might be right about that. They might have done like one part of the song for one commercial and the next part in another commercial you might be right about that but there was a time where you like saw that it's the same song and they played mm. out the entire song for a commercial at one point jesus christ hector why are you looking at the sun <laughs> it was bright i know <laughs> yeah. um but yeah no, they, it, it's the same song i i can 100 percent believed that that would be mandela effect what is ticker just bugging like can she sit down for a second? no this is what she does all the time i'm glad that she's doing it now caught on film finally yeah but yeah no that's i just wanted to get that off my chest because Alyssa's wrong she's delusional we should send her to the fucking ward i don't think it's I'm not wrong. the only thing we should send her away <laughs> That's not the only reason. Um, I happened to watch last last week's episode about you stuffing poor Tigger back there. <laughs> and the occurrence <laughs> that <laughs> she might die. Everyone's like, you are whack. You are crazy. I'm here to reinforce that fact. That is whack and crazy. No. <laughs> I would, honestly, I would just personally bury the cat. I think stuffing is a bit extra. Like, what's the reason for it? I just love her so much, and I'm so attached to her. I don't know. We can stuff Alan, emotional. too, I mean, but... Oh. I... <laughs> she already does. She already does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm not, I'm not here to hate on you. I just find it a bit weird. I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, she's got that psycho energy for that shit. That's for sure. I didn't. We don't I'm just need really to... dedicated to my cat. I thought you were gonna say your. He's just watching from the back. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> it's what she would want. Is it? I believe. <laughs> well, I she's already so. like a fucking statue. Oh yeah, because she didn't just hop on your chair like <laughs> ten seconds ago. Can you imagine this is like something I've always like thought about. So like what if like you die, right? And but like you can't move, like you're stuck in your body, right? Like what if your spirit is stuck in your body but you're dead? So like you can still see everything that's going on, but you can't feel it. Hopefully you can't feel it. Jesus Christ. Imagine like cremation. For starters, so like you have to be there for the entire cremation. That would fucking mm -hmm. suck. Uh, being stuffed. Uh, you just well, get I to sit there. Feel anything. Yeah, oh. would you feel anything in that process? I don't think no, no, so. no. So like you, you're not, you're not gonna feel anything, but you get to watch it happen. So like, imagine being stuffed, so you're preserved forever, and now you just get to watch everything at like a fucking security camera in the same spot for the rest of your existence. That would make a good video game encounter, like a fantasy world to where like this land is plagued and you're going to see what you when you die, like you're going to see what your body sees. So everyone's stuffed up in a fucking mountain somewhere looking at the view. That's a kind of cool idea. Yeah, I got to write that, that down. <laughs> <laughs> but like Tigger like hasn't moved. I'm just like looking at Tigger. I'm just like, what if like Alan is just plowing Alyssa one night and like Tigger literally can't help but like staring i mean i'm sure that's nothing new yeah <laughs> no he's like very allergic to cats he's never at my house longer than just dinner he's never tigger's never watched <laughs> well if tigger's dead and just taxidermied on your wall then she can watch him yeah, is then it gonna, she'll probably be close. Is it gonna be like a trophy kind of taxidermy or just like a stuffed animal kind of taxidermy like, are you uh, gonna, like, put it, like, a deer? I'm not thing? gonna hold like, it like, all the time. Well, like, I a, like, you know, know how deer that heads are. that is definitely weird. <laughs> you get, like, a plaque, and then you just get, like, ha like her head, like, sticking out, like, it's looking at something. Like, like a deer? deer? <laughs> no, like, I'm Gaston. It's like a slain animal. <laughs> and they like, I hunted you? this one. I shot my 12-gauge right there. Yeah. But if you were to taxidermy her, like, what pose would you have her put in? Like, like hunting um, pose? Like, like a JoJo pose? No, probably just <laughs> a little loaf. With her paws tucked Maybe, in. Maybe, like, you know? in her mid-action, and there's, like, some plastic that kind of resembles air. Like, you know, like a Funko Pop? They're, like, in mid-action <laughs> pose. They're like, yeah! Do it like she's, like, <laughs> jumping on something. And yeah, just put, like, a... You can see how little amount of teeth she has. He just had to get, put, like, the lightning bolt circle around her, <laughs> like she's powering up or something. <laughs> like a charge attack. You know, I'm starting to get into this idea. Maybe you should go through with it. <laughs> just put, like, where, like, how she's, like, clawing on something. Just put, like, a little basketball, like she's shooting threes. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> like a big display you'd put somewhere, like on a coffee table. Oh, my gosh. You turn your cat into a Gosh. whole ass collectible. <laughs> I'm gonna put her in a Funko Pop box. Yep. Take her the cat. God. No one knows. <laughs> anyway, aside from uh, Alyssa's psychotic uh, actions of the future, hopefully not, um, I wanted to talk today about the back rooms. The back rooms, because Hector doesn't know. I think Kelly would know. Kelly, you seem like you would know that. Yeah. Yeah. Alyssa, do you know what the back rooms are? Yeah. So Hector, you're the only like my, you're like the minority here apparently. Um. So the back rooms is like a place that you've never been, but you've seen. It's like it's like. Like you've had it in a dream and you don't know why kind of a thing right so like 
the back have you ever seen those memes where it's like this like yellow wallpaper room but it's like a room just filled with a million other rooms like it just seems like, like a labyrinth. like like a back rooms of a mall that go yeah. like a sears or something like that mm-hmm. it's, it seems like it goes on forever and the back rooms literally goes on for fucking ever but i know like it just keeps going until there's like a monster that comes up i think but yeah, you're like, like somewhat glitched into it. Like you hit a wall and you're like, oh, you fell into it. Yeah. And there's like literally nothing in these back rooms. It's just like yellow wallpaper hallways. Mm-hmm. And fluorescent lights that just buzz. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about an imagination space here? Yes. Sort of. It's like it's an imagination space, but for some reason, a lot of people have seen this spot in their dreams. They've never been to it, it doesn't exist as far as we know, but it's been in a lot of people's dreams. And Back in simulation. That's what I'm saying. Um, but like there's that, and then there's a few other places. So like for me personally, there's like this like uh kind of like an emerald city kind of a thing. It's like a you know how Nokron is from uh, Elden Rings? <laughs> It's like how that is, except like there's a lot more like water. Uh, It's like all overgrown and stuff like that, and like green, like waterfally and stuff. And like I always end up like fighting something in there, uh, surrounded by like a lot of like weird uh, looking things. And I looked into that because, like, I th- I was I always wondered, like, I had this, like, reoccurring dream. Like, I wonder if anyone else has, like, seen this spot, like, the back rooms. And it turns out, yeah, a lot of people have actually been to that same, like, described it, like, word for word from what I saw in my dream. So that's pretty fucking wild. And I just want to know, like, is there any place in a dream that you've been that you might consider uh, a back room equivalent? No. All of mine have been like relatively uh, unique or like uh, taking place in my grandparents' house or like taking place in like a cornfield, you know? Right. Yeah. I feel like Max, I can even remember my dreams as like a week. So if I have, I don't remember it. Mm-hmm. Usually it's pretty reoccurring if it's if it's like uh if it's like the back rooms. Um like I've dreamt about the back rooms like at least like five times in my life. Like it's it's like something that you're like, wait, I've been here before in a different dream, but what the fuck? Like at that point it's pretty much a lucid dream because you know that you've been there and you're like, why am I here again? Um <laughs> Recently, I also saw a TikTok where someone actually found, like, a back room, like, an actual place. They found it, and people have dreamt about it, but never been to it. It's a real, it's a real place that people have dreamt about, but never been to. This is like the Call of Cthulhu type thing, to where, like, the cultist found Cthulhu, and, like, Cthulhu's, like, spreading his mind waves across the world and they're like what the fuck they're dreaming about it like uh i think it was called the cthulhu the book it's like this guy and he's like he dreams about it and then like he gets insane until he goes forward into it he sees the freaking monster he can't comprehend it and he just i think he dies or dies on a ship somewhere but is that what what it's like to where people kind of just like the waves are like hey uh, we're gonna dream about this, and then the dream's like, whoa. Back yeah, first. it's it's uh it's pretty much exactly like that. I feel like uh these spots have some kind of like pressure to them. Like if if for one, if those if that yellow uh tinted back room, like you know how we were saying earlier, if that was a real place, like you would feel like this eerie feeling because there's one thing in there that you know has to exist if that place exists and it's the thing that chases you uh for a lot of people that's been like several different things um i can't i can't for the life of me remember what the fuck was chasing me in those hallways uh but like that's like the thing like they have a whole bunch of random shit like uh 
Elmo, fucking a giant Elmo was chasing someone in in a TikTok that I saw. Like they just have like they made the Sonic? back room. <laughs> it might, it's probably <laughs> Sonic shit. I don't know. But uh, what? what? But uh, yeah, that's that's the back. That's the fucking back rooms, baby. You you can't. You're telling me you haven't been anywhere where you've been like, what is this place? No, I I don't think so. Well, that back room that they did discover, uh, I believe it was in like an abandoned mall, but it was like a daycare at an abandoned mall, and like they like, um, they didn't take like anything from the daycare. Like they still had a ball pit, they still had a little like octopus table. And it's like, I've seen all of that before in the same spot. And it's like, why is this not empty? And it's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like it was untouched for as long as it's been abandoned. It's like weirdly absent of people. Um, yeah. I follow this Instagram account that kind of just displays a bunch of those kind of pictures. Like uh, like a street, like a night street. And it's it's all lit up and it's all nice, but it's devoid of human life. Or like, like you said, like a ball pit or like a pool that's like inside for some reason, but it's it keeps going and it's like little edges and corners. So it's, it's kind of like that. I Post think images from my sort of like cursed images. Yeah, uh, it's not scary or anything. It just kind of shows how empty it is. Mm -hmm. I think the back rooms like came from when we were little and we were like going to sears to get a mattress or something like that we were really little and then we we're just fucking around exploring me and my sister would go to the the back rooms of the store would lead to like a break room or something in this in the area and it, it kind of felt that way to where it just kept on going there was long hallways for some reason and it was like exactly described yellow wallpaper and fluorescent lights and stuff but that actually is true sears especially had something like that Mm-hmm. With the fluorescent lights blinking. Yeah, and then, like, for my series, at the very least, there's just, like, a random grill, like, for sale on the way on the way to the bathrooms. Like, it's fucking weird. Huh? Uh, yeah, what was your case? Continue. Um, but yeah, oh, ooh, shit. Sorry, I'm also, like, on the right. side here watching uh, my friend open Pokemon cards. Pretty sick. Uh, anyway, so... The next thing that I wanted to get into, because tonight is all about those conspiracies, baby. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about the Pixar theory. So Alyssa has a list. We're basically going to see how we can connect um, each movie to the next, or to another, rather. Um, and it's usually involving that Toyota truck from Toy Story for some reason. So mm -hmm. that's interesting. Well, hmm. Let me not do Wikipedia. That's always ugly format. <laughs> yep. I think, so, just to, like, kick it off, uh, Wally found, I think, the Toyota truck amongst a pile of, like, rubble and shit like that, I'm pretty sure. You mean sure. the pizza truck? Yeah. The one, yeah. So pizza yeah, Planet. The, one the Pizza Planet one. It was yeah. in Brave. Uh, the witch was c carved it out of wood. Really? Oh. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I think so is Soli. Soli might have also been brave because of that. Yes. Um, there was uh in the ants, not not Secret Life. Why do I, why do I say Secret Life of Ants? Um, Bugs Life. Ant Bugs Life. Life. Jesus or... Christ. Yeah. yeah. Bugs Life was like the first Pixar movie ever, I think. No. Toy, Toy Story. Story. Was well, it Toy if Story? you want to get technical, there's some shorts that are first. I think it was mm -hmm. like Tintin or something. Or. Interesting. Well, um, in Bugs Life, the truck was like right there, like next to a tree. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was um at the first place that he goes to when he goes to adventure for help. And it was like 
unknown and like on the, whether or not the city was, was below it or whatever right yeah um, and it was unknown on whether or not it was like abandoned or not because mm-hmm. if it was abandoned then bug's life could have very well taken place at the same time as wally yeah um or pretty near because there was a there was a tree so that would imply life but that means it could have taken pretty close to the time of Wally, um, which would also make sense because the theory for cars is that they're not cars; they're actually bugs that have adapted. Mm, that's why there's oh. some car bugs. Yeah, exactly. So, like, uh, you notice that, like, with the flying bug cars, they have like organic wings. It's not like mechanical at all. It's like actual wings organic right. um, oh so, yeah the so then we're talking they're about organic here. completely the cars on the inside i'm sorry what was that oh are the cars organic on the inside then that's what the or... theory is so like uh the yeah. creator of cars says oh you don't want to open the doors because you're going to see their brain it's like that implies they have a fucking brain they have a tongue mm-hmm. they have eyes like they that means they're organic to a degree hmm. They could take off their wheels and like they, move them around their feet. Um, I heard that the cars take on the personality of their drivers last. Mm-hmm. Whoever mm-hmm. drove them last take on their personality. That's why. But heard. they have like baby cars. Yeah. That is like something that like they've never shown. They've never shown a baby car. They've shown like child cars. Have they? I think. They shot. They showed a teenage car showing their tits. Oh, the Miatas! Yeah. They're like yeah, their headlights. Yeah. Headlights. Their headlights. I mean, yeah. I don't know if they were teenagers there, but I mean, they were kind of tiny. Were, they were like, tiny. Two really small cars, yeah. But they were Miatas. Like Miatas are just tiny cars. I thought mm. they were even smaller than that, though. No, I, all the cars are relatively the same height and size, except like a Jeep and a. Cube car. What is that cube car called? Cube car called? A uh, Jeep car? Yes, oh. The cube, uh, Scion. Uh, Scion Cube or whatever the fuck it is. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know. They just, they looked a relatively smaller sized car, so. <laughs> See, I, so your theory kind of makes sense. Like, it takes on the traits of the uh, old drivers and stuff like that. That's why truck driver or like trucks are still doing their part that's why boats are still doing their part but it's also kind of interesting when you think about it because like um there's all these like other things in the world that like a car could not have made right like the actual like foundation structures? yeah like the structures like and stuff like that had to, that had to exist pre cars right so like anything just imagine like a car with a hammer hitting something you know a nail that it's like Mm -hmm. let alone making full-on stadiums making fucking tires making like a trailer that another car can go into that a bigger car can push you know making themselves like it doesn't really how do they have sex they use power tools when taking off the wheels like because the races but that can those are like only amount of vehicles actually making stuff right like that they right. like luigi can't be fucking making a skyscraper with that shit like we mm-hmm. saw uh one of them was making like a like a margarita of like oil or gas or some shit like that and like yeah. the second cars and then there was wasabi and it's just like he thought there was ice cream that implies that there's like cows but the cows in the universe are tractors, so, like, what does that even mean? Mm. This was a right. movie to sell toys. I think it's their curse to, like, make us think any bigger than that, because it is what it is. It's literally a movie about talking cars. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, in the second cars, you know how every car has, like, their windshield is their eyes? Right. In the second one, there's this one car. It like doesn't have a windshield. Its eyes are the headlights. I, I saw that. I want to look that mm-hmm. up and then show it. Yeah, wait. What? That so like freaked me out. 
with things like convertibles and stuff, like it's not like you open the door and there's their brain, you know. Car. And then made her fucking screamed. Oh yeah. Oh what the yeah fuck? that one. Oh. Ugly. He fucking mm -hmm. screamed in terror. Mm-hmm. That's the scene. <laughs> yeah. That Why? Is Why weird. is that a thing? That, that that does feel like an uneasy. <laughs> that makes me a little bit uneasy, honestly. It's like if you met someone and they didn't have a face and then their eyes or their nipples. Right. And then and there's this is like... an ring boss. <laughs> that fire giant. <laughs> yeah. Can't adjust. But remember those Chevron cars? They looked yeah. like that. They were hella cute. I used to get one. It was like a little uh, blue Jeep. They actually have like the picture of Chevron cars next to this abomination that was in cars. The weird thing too is that this car looks pretty abandoned. That's so like it looks like it was yeah. sleeping and then it woke up like that. So I wonder if this was like one of the last few uh, of the evolving generation of cars if that makes sense so like i wonder if this is like one of the last steps of their evolution like before they became full-fledged like a lightning mcqueen or some shit like that but that car looks pretty fucking old i mean there's older cars than that car like you know the doc the only one and the old ass lady from radiator springs right doc hudson and them yeah, yeah. See, it doesn't really fit together like that. See, I knew, like, with this whole Just Pixar the theory thing, it was going to get stuck on cars, because cars needs to mm -hmm. be fucking explained to, like, actually fit in the whole theory here. Um, Would it another... be better if they weren't in there? Say we just cut off yeah. cars. Would that Everything be okay? would make a lot more sense without cars. Yeah. Wait up, yeah, uh, Alyssa. I need a fake You're on Alyssa. fire. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so I don't bad. know what's happening. You're oversaturated. <laughs> that is a brand new problem. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. That was weird. Anyway, um, so another theory about that is like Sinestro from Incredibles. Like the AI is what. Uh, also helped the bugs turn into cars apparently it's like the ai left behind uh adopt adapted and melded almost with these bugs to evolve into what we what see AI? as cars today into the one cars. that uh the one that was fighting mr incredible like he a giant ball robot yeah, so like that AI is built to adapt to any current situation. That's why he fought a first one that was meant. By the way, the first one for was Frozen, meant yeah. for Mister Free or Mister Freeze for Frozen. For Frozen. Yeah. Oh, and was it? Yeah, yeah. So like, if you look at the eye, it was blue, and like they were fighting in like lava, and they were and they were, fight. Yeah, they were fighting in a volcano. So like, you can tell That's like cool. it was for Mister Freeze. Or mm -hmm. Freeze, fucking Frozen, Jesus. Frozen. Um, but the second one you could tell was from Mr. Incredible because it was like just brute strength and like uh, it had a red eye for the red. Yeah, and when they were like, when Mirage was staking them out, like in the beginning of the movie, um, she was like talking about Frozen. She was like, oh, he's still with the fat guy. When she was like scouting them out for uh, recruiting or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the actual goal was to get Frozone uh, mm. to fight Sinestro, which was Syndrome. Syndrome. Why did I say Sinestro? Oh my god, things are just. Yeah. I'm just I'm so confused. You guys just keep <laughs> fucking rolling, all right? Oh my god. Incredible <laughs> stays being the best in uh, Pixar movie, in my opinion. Yeah, it's mm. a good one. It's my it's favorite. It's good, but it's overplayed, I feel. How so? Well, just how many times I've watched it and how oh, many times people so talk about it and how great it is, you know? 
Mm, I, 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 it's like overrated. I, and I feel yeah. like yeah, I feel like it's overrated and that many better movies have come out since then. And yeah, it's a good classic, but it's not like the best. Was is in... sorry, continue. Is it Kanto Pixar? No, I think that was just Disney. Hmm. Yeah. Was okay. um Fuck, I just had it in my head. Um, Turning never, Red and Turning Luca red. were both Pixar. Pixar. Yeah. Oh, shit. That just throws a wrench into, like, so much. <laughs> Not oh, really. Fuck. Is this your own theory, or is this something that it's you saw? This is, like, a combination of, like, a lot of people's theories. Um... Uh, my biggest thing, which I'm sure I've talked about before in the podcast, because I had like a whole week where I was going just crazy about it, but like, if Wally could fix himself with pieces of his brothers, why could he not resurrect another Wally? At least that wasn't one. Wasn't his objective. Wasn't. But what was like if wasn't his objective the battery, was to like a big problem for him right it was he but that's that's batteries. why they go off of like solar power he would just like mm-hmm. fix the solar panels or whatever the fuck with his brother's shit but if he could do that to himself why wouldn't he do that for another wally like there is plenty of parts to go around it seemed and like you just take some from the ones that are a little bit too far gone like it would not have been very hard especially since wally like adapted and like literally he was sentient like he knew he could do that and it wasn't like an objective thing because if it was an objective thing then he probably absolutely would have done it because of he was longing for companionship he was getting yeah if he was alone why would he not do it like that was his own feelings but if it was like an objective thing then he would have absolutely done it because he would have gotten the objective done faster that way you know what i mean i think look at it from like a human perspective so you can take other people's like body parts like you know organ donation and whatnot to keep you alive but if someone just dies like you can still get organs from them but once they're like dead dead you're you're not gonna like really be able to put more parts into them and bring them back you know once it's dead it's dead maybe because wally was yeah but wall that's what i was about to bring up too all of them are sentient but at the end of the movie wally did die and was like rebooted by eva he so, didn't like, die did he he just like yeah ran he out got, of battery. Like, com- no he got like completely crushed i think to, like, he was starting to die and then she had to replace something to save him she had to replace everything which in turn just makes a new wally like even if the wall so like at the end of the day this is a machine like you can absolutely build a brand new one with old parts which is what eva or er, did to wally like she basically made a brand new wally and like he retained his personality did she just give him like new eyes new tracks and recharge his battery Recharged his battery new mm-hmm. eyes new tracks and like a new circuit board which means like he was supposed to like not have that personality, but through Disney magic, he retained his personality. But he would have just been like a mindless machine otherwise. So like, that's another thing that was like interesting too. Is like, why did that Wally survive out of everyone, and why is he sentient? He's the strongest. He's the strongest. I think it goes back to magic because every seal, every single Pixar movie can be probably explained through magic, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why there's sentient cars, there's freaking a, a a monster dimension, there's people with superpowers, there's, oh, there's sentient toys, fucking toys, sentient toys. So I think it all starts with magic, and then it grows from that because I think Brave was mm-hmm. the earliest of those movies. And like magic the came from that. set time in the timeline, yeah. Okay, and then it goes back to I think 
so I think monsters evolved after the cars thing because there was an apocalypse or something weird. So they have to go back in time to get shit. And then Boo was the old lady from Brave and she learned magic so she can go back to see Sully. There's a whole ass theory about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I thought that was the one you were talking about when you when you brought that up. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was like elementary or middle school where I looked that up and saw it. But so pretty much all the newer ones could be explained through magic. It's like magic yeah. you can fill it into whatever part of the time it is. It's magic. So another thing that uh all Pixar theory stuff has in common, or at least most of it, like the bulk of it is by and large. Uh mm-hmm. it's in toys, mm-hmm. it's in Wally, it's very prominent in Wally, it's in cars. Which is interesting. Um, the only and, uh, thing that Dinoco. Dinoco's in all that too. Dinoco's in Cars and Toy Story. I didn't even know he was in Toy Story. Probably Wally. And it's like all these things were existing before their respected movies too. Like if you go watch Incredibles, you can actually see Wally in the background of Incredibles. Which... Before Wally came out. Wally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could actually see him in like someone's garage as like his, as like it's panning uh over Mr. Incredible's car. You can see him like fold up into a box. I would have to go. They just that. plan so far ahead. Which <laughs> so like this kind of all fits together, right? So like in Incredibles, you never like see any robotic kind of help or anything like that. But you know it exists because uh, Syndrome mm-hmm. has his whole AI army, right? And that's just like advanced robotics. And like then you see in Incredibles 2, I'm pretty sure there's like even more of that stuff. So like it would make mm-hmm. sense that this is pre Wally, but like almost just before. Like, it, like, um,. It kind of makes sense that there's all these like sh- this all this fucking debris in the uh atmosphere and shit like that because of all the superheroes they need to like keep track of everybody because the superheroes and so everyone leaves earth uh supers are eradicated probably because of the uh the need for them rather i don't know um i'm not sure uh it's just weird that there would be one Wally scene in like the original Incredibles way before Wally even came out, uh, and then just <clears throat> like he's out, and it's like we don't hear anything about supers after that. So, how would you explain Onward? Oh, you know, I never actually saw that one. I forgot it was Pixar. They're all like mythical creatures. Yeah. But it has That's... nothing to do with the monster universe? Nope. Mm, it could. It might. Just not be in the city. Right? A different town. It could be in a different country, even. Right. I feel um, the monster universe is ours, just like flipped on its head or something like that. The doorway thing is, like, another thing that I really... I That is such a cool fucking thing. Because, like, the doorways seems like the way... The link between these, if you will. Like, a door... I kind of want to... I kind of want to know that if in each Pixar movie, if there is a door scene in each movie that was seen randomly in Monsters, Inc. That'd be cool. That'd be fucking nuts. Yeah, I know. Like, you see, like, a wooden oak giant door or something like that in Monsters, Inc., and it's the same one in Brave. That'd be nuts. Mm -hmm. I think... I kind of want to look for that now. I wonder if that's, like, a a very prominent thing that people have been, like, looking out for. I'm sure, but still. There are so many doors in Monsters, Inc. I'm... Yeah, it would take, like, a very, very, very keen eye. But, like... There has I'm to be, like, watching. obvious, like, similarities to a lot of these things. Like, with mm-hmm. Boo's door, hers is, like, obviously Boo's door the because flowers. the flowers, yeah. So. 
And then, like, it's kind of thinking about it, actually, the, the the city that the monsters are in, in the first uh, monsters, it kind of looks like the Incredibles city. What's the name of the city? I have no fucking idea. Monstropolis? Monstropolis, <laughs> probably. Oh, is Zootopia a freaking... Oh my god. I can't remember. Um, I don't think Zootopia is Pixar. I think Zootopia is not. Yeah, it's not Pixar. Oh, fuck. Thank god. <laughs> That's that, Disney. that would have been a whole ass other it's wrench. Disney. I think it is Disney, but it's not Pixar. No. City. Monstropolis, I was right. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's really Monstropolis. Monstropolis. <laughs> that obvious. <laughs> Monster City. <laughs> um, I think The Incredibles is like Metropolis or it probably is Metropolis, actually, now that I think about it. That would be... That would just literally... Make be, sense. Yeah. <laughs> In Incredible... Metroville. Well, pretty damn close. The city of Metroville. Uh, wait. Makes sense since they have a metro. In what world? Third movie? <laughs> Incredibles. So in The Incredibles, Incredibles. it's Metroville. In Monsters, Inc., it's Monstropolis. Is, um... What's it called? I forget the name of it. The the one with the blue head guy. What's Mega that Mind is DreamWorks. Oh. Yeah. Metro City. Metro City. It's close. Metropolis, <laughs> some shit like that. I don't even know what it was. For creative people, they're not all that creative. Yeah, yeah it's really it's just very names. generic things. Like, at least take from, like, fairly odd parents. I mean, Dumb Dimidom of the Dimsdale Dimidom. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. that, was, <laughs> that was on top of things. <laughs> you know what always bugged me off topic? One punch? The town names are just letters, right? Yeah. That or, was weird. Yeah. yeah. I hated that. It always made me like less inclined to give a shit about the city. Yeah. Like, well, it's kind of like just fucking dead. It's kind of like a Half Life, like Half Life, like has like City Seventeen, and it's like a big ass apocalypse. So, the few cities that are existing, they're numbered. So I think the rest of the world's destroyed except Europe. So it's like oh, City Seventeen's like right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um. You know, I actually have another tie-in. So do you guys remember in Toy Story 2, that old guy that, like, fixed Woody? Mm -hmm. yep. It's mm -hmm. the same guy who plays uh, chess with himself in a short. Oh, he plays with himself. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't got a word it like that, but... <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, no, it's, like, where he, like, he's playing chess with himself, and, like, he has, like, two different, like, little personalities... And I think that was, like, before his respected film in Toy Story 2, like, and, like, it was only, like, recent when someone realized, like, oh, shit, like, that's the same guy. So, that was interesting. I think the real, real, real reason why we see so many similarities between these uh, movies is because... Starting on, I think that Pixar had a lot of creative ideas clashing with each other, and it's like, okay, we all collab on one movie. We can put some stuff in there. We'll add some cool stuff here and there. Um, because I think they gathered a lot of assets from different movies to put in different movies. Say the old guy there, he had the the model for it, so it's like let's uh, just brush him up a bit and put it in the movie. Or like, hey, there's a Jesse doll in uh, in what you call it. Uh, and Monsters Inc. And it's like, okay, well, we already have the Jesse's Jesse asset model animations, whatever. Let's put her in the movie. True. Something like that. So was Nemo. Nemo was also in that movie. Mm -hmm. Damn. I forgot Up was also in the mo in Pixar. Ratatouille, oh, yep. Nemo. Fucking. That was such a good movie. Ratatouille. Yep. You hate it? 
Yeah, Ratatouille sucks. Hate that uh, little rat. I thought you I thought you liked Ratatouille and you hated Stuart Little. No, I hate both of those rats. Oh. <laughs> you don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like rats. Why? They're grimy little creatures. And also, I have personal beef with Stuart Little. How did he get adopted out of over children? I have personal He's the cheapest to maintain. <laughs> Clearly not. He caused so much. He cost damage. little high, <laughs> little low. <laughs> He's a horrible rat. <laughs> he had a little um, car too. Yeah, I thought it was cute. It was. It was kind of cute. Mm -hmm. uh, he was pimping out his red convertible. <laughs> so... He was playing pipe with that bird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, this little diagram is suggesting that the Cars timeline and both the Good Dinosaur, Brave, and Onward are completely separate from the actual Pixar timeline. And that's how they're saying it makes sense, apparently. Saying Brave is separate? Yeah. Uh, it's also saying Soul. I didn't realize Soul was Pixar. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good movie. It was. I still haven't seen it. I kind of want to. Um. Ever real? Jesus Soul Christ! It's like. Sorry. Coco are both Pixar, and they both involve. Ghost kind of, or their souls, but they're both different. Right. Completely. Right. Soul and what else? Soul and Coco. And Coco. Yep. One of the That's cars in Cars 3 was watching Coco. What? Or it was like, there was like a scene from Coco Gosh. where it was just like the Mexican festival or some shit like that. Mm. And it was like the same scene from Coco, but the car was like looking at it like, oh, I miss home. It's like, what the fuck? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how all of them go together. Yeah. It's really, really fucking hard to say, honestly. This is yeah. some I wonder if like Inside some... Out is connected to Inside Out is a part of this. Um Yeah. <sighs> no, I have no idea. I feel like it's Inside like Out's way the only too... one that shows their like mind's perspective though, right? Yeah. So yeah. that one is kind of just standalone. It can be in kind of yeah, cause like any there's nothing like really mind. connecting inside out to anything unless like, uh, what if I'm had a memory of the fucking Toyota truck or some shit like that? Like right. I don't think that we need to go too much depth into Inside Out because it's like someone's inner dialogue yeah. kind of going through. It doesn't yeah. really need to we be. We can just assume that much. every character has. You know that, what yeah. though? I bet side. you. I bet you because it's so it seems so disconnected from like everything else that you it's kind of like something that you could just toss aside as far as the theory goes. I bet you there is one thing in that movie that literally links shit super well. They always so like uh I watch okay, I I I'll admit this. I'll be the first person to say this out loud and not have any shame in it. I love FNAF theories. Five Nights at Freddy's theories are literally gold. I fucking love them. Yeah. I I don't even play the game, but I think it's like really cool to like hear like the lore, like how people like interpret the lore or some shit. But like the smallest, smallest detail inside of like a book or like the survival's guide or some shit can tell you everything right then and there. And that's why I feel like Inside Out is just like has that one thing that we all missed that like links something. Based like off of tether? one of the memories, or they probably just based off of one of the memories. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it might have something to do with toys. If mm, you think about it, because like, if she might have like cause... a small memory of like a toy like flopping over or some shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Implying Is, that um... there's sentient in her world oh too. My God. Is Big Hero yeah. 6 part of all this? Big Hero 6 is part of Marvel, actually. 
Oh. It was a Marvel comic, and then they adapted yeah. it. Yeah. Um, we need to talk about Toy Story for a, a quick second because what qualifies a toy a toy? This pen right. is a toy. My water bottle is my toy. It's a right. sentient fucking being now. What kind of a fucking and once toy if you're like, <laughs> once if you're a giant, like, say it's it can't be like something as simple as this. It has to be something like an actual marketed toy. You know, like those giant stuffed teddy bears. They're fucked. They can't get nothing done. They don't. They can't do anything. They mm -hmm. cost too much rackets and movement. Right. Maybe it's like the magic of uh, children, because like only the children really were um, being exposed to the monsters. So it's like uh, oh, but, their magic with the doors. True. Being in Toy Story oh. Two, the entire toy store was alive. Right. Mm, but all I those feel toys like... were just um, old kids' toys that they didn't want anymore. It no, was like it, a it was it, like a thrift shop, right? No, no the was... second one. The second oh, one, the second like with one? all the Buzz Lightyear, like all the brand new Buzz Lightyear and Barbies. Two oh. guard, two oh, guard, yeah, yeah, guy, yeah. Barbie. All I mean, I kind of like Alyssa's theory though. It probably has a lot to do with the kids, if you think about it, because yeah. like the uh, like how you're saying with like the magic and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Shit, I never even like considered that. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. Good job, round of applause. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that's pretty fucking wild when you when you put it in the perspective like that. Cause like you said, like a toy is a toy when a kid deems it a toy. Like right, so that's why Forky wasn't alive and then was alive. Right, but like you were saying with like giant teddy bears, we never saw a giant teddy bear. We never saw like a huge toy in general. Like, what's the difference between that? You know what I mean? Like you've seen like stuffed bears, that's fine, but never mm -hmm. anything like huge. So, would sex toys have any? Right. That's child, what I've been thinking this whole time. Like a child needs to have interaction with it, so you see, like, like a walking like sex doll. Like kid just wanders through the kid room. Accidentally Runa finds your the box. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes it into an airplane. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why am I alive? <laughs> it's, like, it's like you have no idea the kind of shit I've seen. Jesus. Literally. But yeah, um, that, that was such a good link, thinking about it. Um, I, I, I don't know what, so like, there's been like a whole fucking thing about that. And like, it honestly might be what made Wally sentient, maybe, if you think about it. Because like, maybe that Wally before leaving was like a personal Wally. And so, like, the kid would just, like, hang out with it? I don't know. Uh, that's kind of stretching. That's We're kind of a like, stretch, but... Stretched. But, I mean, like, a Wally was in the garage of the Incredibles. So that means that there was, like, personal Wallies. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, like, just yeah. for the cleanup. It was, like, for your house. It was, like, a Roomba or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, then there would probably be a lot, lot more than just one that was sentient. Right. Maybe. That well, that's sense. what I said at the beginning, that maybe they all probably became sentient, and yeah. that's why he can't bring them back, because it at that point, the mind isn't necessarily the robot way that you said, so it can't be brought back just by swapping oh uh, yeah like how you're saying like the mind is dead so if they're dead yeah. they're just dead i can see mm -hmm. that now yeah that's that why you've had to rush to save wally that right. does make sense actually god damn we're philosophers jesus <laughs> christ we are so good at that. Wrong it's like, like I'm just like in my head. It's just like it keeps blowing up. Like I'm like that kind of <laughs> makes sense. Not gonna lie. It's all coming together now. 
Oh, shit. The door thing is like something that I kind of want to look for anytime I'm watching a Pixar movie now. Um, there was like a theory, I think, on that one door that Mike was going to throw Boo into when they're like, put that thing back where you came from, where it came from, or so help me. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like a bar or some shit like that, like a fucking <laughs> roadhouse. Um, I don't know like where they thought that thing led. But I think it had, I think it like legitimately had something to do with the Pixar universe. The Roadhouse, with no. the place where Randall got thrown in, or no? But that yeah. trailer was right next to the tree, and I'm pretty sure right next to that tree was the fucking Toyota truck. Yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure the Bugs Life tree. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. I don't know. There's just so much going on. What was the evil bug in Bug's life? What was he? He, he was, was a uh, grasshopper, locust? right? Hopper. Yeah, his name was Hopper. Yeah. I think he was a grasshopper. Yep. Okay. Is Because if he was a cockroach, then that's just like another reason to like uh connect wally or mm-hmm. something like that i don't know i don't know it's all kind of coming together though not gonna lie anyway before we like actually go insane like talking about all this i think we'll take a pause we might pick it up next episode i'm not gonna lie if i if i like think of anything i might bring this up again but um uh the last thing i want to talk about for this episode was the fact that they are blue balling us so fucking hard with Attack on Titan right now. Yeah. Attack on Titan season four part three. Part three. The last season, guys. Oh my god, it's the last fucking season. Just make the... never ever so now, so just make Probably a fucking three. movie. Jesus Christ. No one would be upset with that. We'd you know I how don't much know if money they could that fit it all into a movie though. Okay, make like five more episodes in part two. That's fine. Then make the rest a movie. What? Like shit. Uh, With as much like know. attention, uh, anime movies have been getting in theaters anyway. Like during the Demon Slayer movie, people are going Aiden Yeager. Like imagine <laughs> yeah. like an actual Aiden Yeager movie. Like fuck. yeah. You have so many fucking delinquents know. in there, but they all be. Like, I'm kind of happy the, that they're doing the way they're doing, because like, I don't want it to end. I want it to keep going, but I want to see how it ends. Yeah. Hey guys, I yeah. actually have to leave right now. Um, have to leave. I have to leave. Jeremy's uh was looking after his mom's dog. And we have to drop him off tonight. He wants to use my car because the parking spot he has now. He doesn't want to lose because he has to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Jesus Christ. Gone an instant. So I have to use my car and I'll drive. So I have to go. Well, thank you for uh, joining us, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm back. I don't know if I'll be back next because my schedule is weird because I took on a new position at my work, but yeah. yeah. Will you be brainstorming you that? Yeah, br- just brainstorm that thumbnail for us while you're gone. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Um, I got. I guess. I guess. I guess. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you guys later when it comes up. <laughs> but yeah. All right. I'm gonna go. See you guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, what a bitch that guy. Ditching yeah. in the middle of the Thank episode? God, what? Thank God he's <laughs> no. That's uh, fucked. Kidding. I love him. He's my favorite out of all you guys. That's pretty fucked up, but alright. Um, alright. <laughs> just gonna move on from that. Uh, but yeah, no, Attack on Titan Season 3, that's scenes... I, I don't... Yeah. Uh, season 4, season part 3. Season 4, part 3. Like... A, a lot of people are so upset about that, and I'm just, and I kind of agree. I'm like, I just want 
to see the end of this. I feel like mm -hmm. this is like the argument people have with One Piece. Like, oh, why hasn't he become king of the pirates yet? It's been like a thousand episodes. Well, that's just how like that's the what anime. I say all the that's how the time. anime was built. This anime needs a goddamn conclusion. <laughs> Yeah. One Piece needs a fucking conclusion. That should be coming up soon, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. For hold on, for One Piece, is the manga even finished? No, God no. Nope. Wow. I think the manga is like relatively close to the actual anime too. Like <laughs> it in terms of like how far apart they are. Right. Yeah, you gotta chill out with that shit. I don't think it's a bad thing. You can never have too much One Piece because there's always going to be like a cool. It's a fucking power trip kind of a thing. Attack on Titan is like, it, like you need answers to and all these things. Died. Yeah, you need answers to mm -hmm. all this. You need to know who at the end of the day is the good guy. So like, yeah. I feel like this really like needs to come to a close, and especially like because of its neck and neckness with uh demon slayer like while that was going on at the same time a lot of people were like debating like do i watch this or do i watch demon slayer fuck mm -hmm. like there's the debate there and it's just like okay well now that it's just attack on titan you guys should probably be wrapping up soon so i could like be you know fucking hyped over that like just talk about it for months to come like jesus I don't know. I feel like the movie would have made it a lot better, especially with everyone else coming out with a movie. I didn't even know Jujutsu Kaisen was coming out with a movie until it was announced that they had a movie. I feel like I've known about it for a few months. I had but... no idea. So I'm surprised they came out with one after just one season. Which I guess Demon Slayer did too, but... Yeah. I mean, they're just, like, amazing anime. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. On that one. But yeah, Attack on Titan. I'm... I hope they fucking... Since they're doing this shit with Attack on Titan, I hope they really take it out with a fucking bang. Honestly, yeah. Like, make it fucking worth it. I swear to God. I think... So, like, what I've always thought for Attack on Titan is that everyone's just gonna die. Like, I think every single person is gonna die. Um, maybe. There is, like, a... Which, I'm not sure if this was part of, like, the part I saw, but I saw, like, a crystallized Aaron Titan. And, like, everywhere else was, like crystallized too like there's a million people crystallized so i feel like the entirety of like at least like one part of the landscape is just going to be crystallized like the infinite sukiyomi yeah some shit like that hmm. i don't know like his whole goal is to preserve only paratus island true crush everything else have you even seen the new episode have you yeah i watched it earlier today no, I need to watch it today, actually. Is it pretty wild? Um, not really. The end, it's like, like the last few minutes, it really like builds up towards the next fucking part of the season, I guess. A big but the first half is kind of slow. I wouldn't say big cliffhanger, but it's like a lead up. Anyway, I don't know. It wasn't as good as I hoped. The last episode before that was fucking nuts. Was that good. one was insane. Mikasa was just throwing everyone around like a <laughs> fucking ragdoll. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, anyway. I think um. in the most recent episode, Sasha is back. What? Like, like <laughs> she's not alive. It's just like a back in time thing. But you get to see her again. Yay! Fuck. There's a, <laughs> there's like this whole thing going on right now where it's like Falco's Titan is a mix of both Beast and Jaw, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Not at all. Not at all. But that's why he's like so furry. Apparently, is because of that. And I was like, that's only because his name is Falco. 
And they want to make him look like a fucking bird falcon fucking titan. Fucking I think it looks stupid. cool. This guy doesn't like it. Um, mm. He kind of looks like a jacked chicken, but that's alright with me, honestly. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> ah. Um, but yeah, no. I I I think I have, I have high hopes for the ending. Uh, I don't think I'd really be disappointed with anything. Honestly. The only thing that I think I would be disappointed in is, like, if it just starts again. True. Like, like just the cycle. Yeah, like, like if they went through all of that to end the cycle, and then at some point... Like, you know how uh, Darling and the Franks, how, like, the end of that, there was, like, a boy and a girl, and, and like, they met at the tree, and it was supposed to be, like, uh... uh uh, symbolizing like zero two and hero if they if none of that like existed or some shit like that i don't think i noticed that yeah so uh it's kind of like uh, you don't want them to like further down the line of the timeline like after every main character is long dead you don't want it to just like start again is what i'm yeah. saying that would be ridiculous <laughs> wow. So. Alright. But uh I think that's it. I think we should probably wrap there. Um pretty yeah. solid episode. Who we did we should. have for areolas in what mm -hmm. it was Cora and Levi. And Levi. Yep. Damn, Kelly just misses out. Oh, I was, I I was know, actually these, interested. These were good ones. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Cora. I'm thinking like they good up. pepperoni sized. And because, you know, she doesn't have like very large breasts. So I think they're like larger than average for her size. I think mm. she's got very like. Perky. I think that she's got like nickels and they're pierced. Definitely pierced. pierced. Well, yeah. she's like bi. Yeah, it's kind of like a must if you're bi. <laughs> it's... Oh, and no, I think, I and think she's like very rebellious like a... too, you know? Yeah. I don't know. That'd kind of be a bitch with metal bending, though. Just get <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like metal. accidentally metal bends yeah. her shit. Oh, I didn't know she could. I thought she could only Earth. And she learned. But then, like, fighting someone who can metal bend, just get your nips mm -hmm. ripped off. Come on. Yeah, maybe Ouch. not. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But size, I think, a little bigger than pepperoni. Mm -hmm. And dark. Yeah. Mm hmm And uh, for Levi, aside from the dick, I think he's got super tiny nips. He's well, a small yeah. guy. Little boy nipples. Mm -hmm. Little boy nipples. Little boy. <laughs> Jesus. That man is uncut, actually. He's not cut. You don't think? I mean, he was sitting next to his corpse of a mother as a child. I can't imagine he ever had time to get cut, for starters. And he gives me the vibe that he wouldn't care either way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's cut. And I think he's got a curve to his. Dude, this guy's curve like wraps around. Left. It's like a fucking ring. To the back. left, yeah. To the left. It's all that wind pressure as he's like flying through. It's just like caught oh, yeah. up with him. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, that's the fucking consensus. Thank you guys for listening Thanks. to this episode we gotta of. Pick oh people. true fuck the next uh, see this time i didn't forget like actually doing it this time i forgot so doing weird. the next one um <laughs> uh, we want to do um, real people or fictional i do a chose mix. the one before who chose this past one i, think I chose I did the one before i chose, I chose both the, the ones before Paige this and amy schumer oh yeah yeah i chose i chose this one so hector you get to choose Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, 
you think female or uh, like real or uh fictional i was thinking a mix like mix. maybe do yeah. one uh, maybe a fictional then a real mm-hmm. okay so we'll do fictional male i'm gonna say all might Ooh. and <laughs> real female hmm Fucking her name. Wow, her name blanking. Where is she? Oh, uh, Leia from Star Wars. Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Um. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, all right. Sorry, spelling. Sure. All right. Well, <laughs> with that morbid note. Uh, thank I'm you for listening. It's not morbid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to this episode of Camping Buddies. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode up until the end there. I know it got a little bit rocky. Uh, um, <laughs> love you, Kelly. We miss you right now already. Bye, buddy. Uh, but uh, we'll see Try you guys in the next episode. And make sure you check us out on both Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We're there as well. Uh, check out Anchor. I forgot to plug that, honestly. I kind of want to. Uh, check out Anchor if you want to get into your own podcast with your friends. It's free to use, and it's an amazing hosting site that lets you put it on both Spotify and Apple Podcasts and many other options. Uh, but besides that, guys, thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.